Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a co-op banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the Highlands at Chavano, I'm trying to get that right, to showcase this David Weekly home. Now, this home's already been purchased, but I have out-of-state clients who are considering buying the same model. So prior to this house closing, I want to do a video tour of it. So let's go check it out. Now, if you have a large family, this is a really nice floor plan for you. This is the Everson plan. It is just over 3,700 square feet, a five bedroom, three full bath, one half bath with a three car garage. This is a really nice community with some great builders in it and very conveniently located. Uh, we're just past Blanco Road. Um, this is the same exit, actually the same exit I used to take to go to uh, Camp Bullets before I retired from the Air Force. Anyways, let's go in and check out the inside of this beautiful home. All right, let's head on inside this beautiful home built by David Weekly. The Evanson is a gorgeous house. Let's check out the seating area we have here. Sorry about the noise, there is construction going on. But once we close this door, the noise will go away. All right, right when you come in, you see the little uh, pathway upstairs, but you do have a formal dining room right off to your left. Plenty of space for a big family to entertain in. And to our right, this house is under, is about to close on another family, and they elected for the option to close this space in, creating their own office, or you can leave it open and have it as a different living room spot, living space. But this is gonna be a really nice sized office for them. Now before we go to the main area, let me show you the mud room coming in from the garage. You will have plenty of backpack, uh, shoe storage space, all that stuff is right here for you. The laundry room of uh, the buyers this house selected some beautiful flooring. I always like the, when they go a little creative in the laundry room because it's a small space and it really kind of jumps out. They are going to be putting a, uh, another sink in, but that's going to be the washer and dryer area. They opted to go for the, I believe that's going to be a quartz right there. But their own sink, cabinetries. Let's check out what this three car garage looks like from the inside. Because we are in uh, this neighborhood, it is a little sloping from the back to the front, so we have steps going up. But they have a tankless water heater. They've already got the water softener set up. But uh, just shows what a big space this is going to be and the option for additional storage on top of if you want to build some racks in on top of where those garage goes the garage doors are you can do that all right beautiful eight foot doors throughout the first floor of this house Then you come into the great room area. Beautiful wrought iron. They've got the fireplace in the corner, which gives you the option just now still have your TV on the main wall without having the TV up so high above the mantle. Definitely like that. Now, the buyers of this house did do a couple of modifications. Let me walk through those right now. On the standard plan, there's two windows in the breakfast nook area. One of them will be where the refrigerator spot is. These buyers have opted to get rid of that window and kind of extend the cabinet area. So you're gonna have an extra long pantry area. In addition, they extended the um, countertop a little bit too to make up for that as well. So if you're buying this plan, the Evanson, 
Just keep in mind that there's been some modifications to this as their standard plan. But uh, let's check out what they did. I love what they uh, want the upgrade lighting with the bra when the gold appliances looks really nice and this quartz is just beautiful. They do have the wraps around the base of it so it's not your standard uh, sheetrock. And the cabinetry that is an upgrade as well having the glass tops up there. David Weekly does come with a lot of standard features, but um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's not one of them. But uh, beautiful sink here. Now, a lot of the homes you're seeing nowadays, just because of the market, it's going to be what David Weekly calls QMI homes. Everyone else calls them inventory homes, where they've already picked out a lot of the finishes. And uh, you have to kind of see what has been picked out. But they've got the undermount lighting, which is always a nice touch. I already opened this to see. Ooh, my eyes are blind. <laughs> Loving that feature. If you've got a microwave that's in the built-in down low, make sure it's the automated top open access because it makes things so much easier to access your microwave like that versus having to bend down all the way. But once again, they've got these beautiful upgraded cabinetries. They also elected for the double stacked ovens, which is gonna be just really nice. And those are, those are upgraded appliances there too. Good size pantry. Well, wouldn't say huge, but plenty big. Kind of typical what you'll see for corner pantry. But this range is absolutely beautiful with the matching handles and matching hardware in there. Well, let's check out the view from behind the sink. Beautiful. All right, this is the more high end side of a community. So the Highland Chavanaugh, I mean, you're in a great location here, but also check out the size of the yards. Now this is gonna be a little bit of an oversized lot just because of how it's placed but you have a beautiful patio that these guys put in here. Lots and lots and lots of natural light. And David Weekly really does build an energy efficient home. But yeah, check out the size because this is on a corner lot. They are gonna have a lot of yard. Now for my buyers who are considering getting this plan built, don't expect this size of a yard <laughs> because this is kind of unique just because of where this house is located. I love the fact that they did the rock on the back part as well. You don't always see that. All right, let's head back on inside. Now, I typically like to end up in the master bedroom slash owner suite, whatever we want to call it nowadays, but the upstairs is going to be a really nice feature. So I'll show that one last, but let's check out this owner suite. It does have the beautiful knockout, nice tall ceilings. The French doors leading into the bathroom. And once again, they carried that same upgraded uh, faucets with the gold and gray look throughout the bathroom. 
they got the framed mirror and this is a different version of a super shower by David Wigley I've never seen before because usually you have an opening on one end and this half wall covers through but this is the first time I've seen them do the modifications where the door is right in the middle and oh my gosh check this out three beautiful shower heads this is an absolutely beautiful home went all with the upgraded hardware good size closet I'm hoping the they will be putting in the uh, cabinet uh, rails here soon or maybe the buyers opted to do something completely different and bring in their own custom stuff after the fact that's a possibility just the water closet back there now you with your building a house from dirt you will have the option to kind of pick where you want your uh, jacks at, your outlets. I have to find out if what they're doing now with the QMI slash inventory homes, they haven't been started yet. You still might be able to do what's called the low voltage meeting and kind of pick that out as well. And that comes important with what I'm about to show you upstairs because we do have four more bedrooms upstairs with a game room slash movie room loving this wrought iron that they chose but this is the movie room section and if you're doing low voltage meetings and get to plan some of this out you will typically have the option of adding more can lighting if you wanted to or speakers pre-wired in the ceiling as well so some things it's always important to get done before sheet rocks up and that would be one of them if you want to turn this into a movie room and have speakers in the ceiling get them pre-wired is a big big thing to do but this can be a nice room and they do have a nice little closet space if you wanted to use this as an AV room slash game storage you can do that or just a good place to throw all the toys if you got smaller kids Put all the toys into that closet and shut the door nice little nook right there if you want to put something fancy but let me show you these bedrooms that are all upstairs they are good sized rooms once again with some nice lighting with nice size closets in here, the little mini walk-ins. This can be a Jack and Jill bathroom set up because each, both of these rooms will share this bathroom. Now they got the brushed nickel um, faucets in here versus the gold, but that brushed nickel is really nice as well. Showing what the flooring looks like. Nice bathtub. And they took the tile work all the way to the ceiling. And that's how it's going to turn out. Very nice. And another good sized bedroom. Check out the closet. These are kind of just pool closets. Just pull the door and it kind of comes open. Also, pointing out that the light fixtures, they kind of want the standard builder gray light with the plans of putting their own ceiling fan in after the fact. A quick way to save some money doing it like that because builders, well, they typically have a nice upcharge if you want to have their fans put in. And you can usually save quite a bit of money by just getting the builder's light in there. They're already going to be blocked and wired for a ceiling fan, but you can always do that yourself or uh, have a handyman come in and do it and usually save quite a bit of money. Now this room has its own private 
bathroom up here. So perfect for long-term guests. Or if you've got that uh, teenager or, well, millennial, some, uh, somebody in their mid-20s you just can't kick out of the house, they'll have their own private bathroom. So that means you'll never get them kicked out of the house. Well, not completely private because there's another door here, but they can lock that door anytime they want. But wait, there's more. There's even another bedroom up here. So you got four good sized bedrooms all upstairs with access to, for, to where all the kids can be upstairs. They can have their video game room slash movie room, kind of neat, and then adult time downstairs. Let's check out the view from above. Very nice. All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of this beautiful home built by David Weekly. As a reminder, this is the Evanson plan. It is a five bedroom, just over 3,700 square feet. So this is a big house. If you got any questions on it, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. And I'm here to help you guys through this process. So as always, remember, buyers don't pay realtor fees. It's already built into the cost of the house. So don't go through this process alone. All right, hope that you found this helpful. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.